So what is my thoughts about the Kingsong S22 against the Emotion V11 that I own too? And I simply love it. And also when we talk about prices, it's even not comparable. What I think about these two? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And yes, I have done a lot of videos about this wheel. I simply love it. Really soon I've been selling this one. So if you are in the UK, you can send me a DM on Instagram and I'll let you know a little bit more about why I'm selling this one. But you can know straight away, I'm just building a new V11. So that's why I'm selling this one. I had a lot of fun with this. We've, we review the pads from Emotion, the honeycomb pedals, the seat, how it's been the experience of this wheel since I put all of this together. And uh, yeah, it's been my Cadillac experience experience. Uh, I, I love it and it's very reliable. And today we are putting side by side because I also been riding in the same day, same conditions with this electric unicycle against this one. My good friend King Size was using this one majority of the day after we swap a bit and I was on the V11 and he was testing out the, um, the Kingsong S22. This managed to go where this one was going but obviously it's not the same and they don't have exactly the same targets, but we will go there. When this wheel came out, I just picked it up in the day after HCN had put out that video that the S22 just blew out in the United States. So I really didn't want to have this one at home. I've done already the full review of the Kingsong S22. If you want to know a little bit more about that video, definitely check it up because like I said, this is the best of the worst electric unicycle that I tested out. There is a lot of things that I simply love it, but there is a lot of things that I simply hate it. And um, I can't at this point really recommend you to invest your money on the Kingsong S22. Many of you guys know that I'm not a big fan of Kingsong and I explain a little bit more the reasons behind. So I'm not going to put on this video. If you want, you can check the full review of the S22. This one is basically, we are going to put side by side what I like and what I don't like it. And obviously I was riding with both in the same place and off-road because I think that this is an off-road wheel, but with a lot of issues. And this one is not an off-road wheel, but have a lot of the issues that you have here. They, they are solved on the V11 in the same way they are solved on the Bigot Hero. This tire works super, super well on those conditions. I, I, I enjoy a lot to ride with this one because I felt that I had more grip than with this knobby tire, the, this CST tire that I have on the Emotion V11. And obviously I have a lot of experience with this tire going off-road. I went in Scotland with this wheel and uh, I managed to do every single thing. Obviously I had the issues that sometimes I could hear some stones going in and coming out. And in the day that we was out with this wheel, I had a piece of wood, or in this case, my good friend Kingside have a piece of wood going inside the shell and it was, we would really struggle to take it out. All right. So we have just a technical problem now. So one piece of wood went inside the V11. So before it burns the motherboard, we are trying to deinflate the tire. So that's definitely an advantage in here because you have much easier access to, to the tire. So it's easier for us to try to take something that goes in. So if you go off-road, definitely take some tools. Hopefully my other good friends, I had some tools and we managed to take it out, taking out all the air of this tire. So this was the bit that went inside and this guy managed. Yes. <laughs> and this guy here is the assistant. Yes. <laughs> assistant it's operations out. manager. Let's ride. Let's ride again. <laughs> Woo! but was definitely not the best experience. And after we were struggling to align this tire once again, because if you know, if you have a CST tire is, or a knobby tire in this case, sometimes it's really, really hard to align that tire once again. So we just stopped now. We've done how many kilometers? 17. Point? Two. And we are stopped again because of the V11. Because the, if you have a knobby tire, you need to set it properly, otherwise, uh, it, it gives you some wobbles and something can go really wrong. So we are just taking the air out once again and we stop 
next to these beautiful cows. The lights in both solutions are really, really good. I don't like this plastic feeling that you have on these ones, but definitely two of the best lights that you have on the market. The best one is from the, the veteran Abrams. That light is amazing and I would love to see more lights like that one. When we look to all the body, this is metal, this is plastic, so definitely these parts will be more durable on the Kingsong S22. But when we talk about these plastics, they are very, very poor. They are simply horrible and it's very easy to break. I don't understand why they didn't put here some metal with some rubber. Maybe like the solution that you have on the Emotion V12. I, I don't get it why they didn't do that. Looking to the screen, I can easily see how much battery I still have on this one. I would love to be able to see in percentage. It's not possible. Here, if I want to see that when I'm riding, I need to basically stop and wait to see. This one allow me to see how fast I'm going. And sorry, I just press the turn on and turn off of the lights. And this is another thing that I like in both of them. So when you press it, you can hear what you've done. Here is exactly the same noise. So if you are not looking, you are not sure if you turn on and turn off here, the sound is different. So I know when I turn off and when I turn on. Something that Emotion do that for a long period of time and I really like it. And I think that other wheels should be in the same place. For example, this one doesn't do any sound. So when you press it, I'm not sure if I've done something to the wheel, but at least here, I have this sound so it allows me to see. This one you will have two charging ports. To reach to charge you need to always pull this up and you have the charging ports here. I'm used to how it's to charge. It's very easy also to press the button as you can see is there. Okay so no problem at all to just open this and to charge it. But you have to be in this position otherwise you'll struggle quite a lot. This one also have two charging ports so if you want to charge faster this one you are able to do exactly the same on the S20. Obviously in battery is not even comparable. Here you have 1,700 if I'm not wrong. This one you have 2,200. And battery wise, I definitely felt the difference. Here when we finish, I was still with 38% of battery. My good friends obviously is heavier than me and it was with 14%. But also I was riding even faster and going completely bananas sometimes with the S22 that I enjoy a lot in that kind of environment. Curving with this one, it's not even comparable. It's so much easier, even having a knobby tire, and obviously I'm not comparing with this, the original tire that was coming in here, but it's so easy to curve. And one thing that I said previously in another video, when I jumped from the S22 to the V11 and after I came back to the S22, I really felt that this wheel was uncomfortable. I'm talking about obviously the Kingsong S22, was uncomfortable between my legs. So I had some pain in this part of my legs. And here, not at all. So that is a, an issue that Kingsong has been having with this one, even with the S18. The S18 was also a wheel that was not really ergonomic to the body. And I think they, they should learn a little bit more from um, emotion or even from Bigod with the Bigod Hero. I'm really curious to see the master and those pads on the front. I don't think that they're going to work as I would like, but we never know. I also thought that these pads will not work and I use them constantly. When we talk about pedals, in here, obviously, uh, I have the Honeycomb pedals that I simply love it. It's not the original ones. If I put next to the original ones, obviously, I prefer the pads that you have on the Kingsong S22. But if I put next to the Honeycomb pedals, I prefer much more those pedals than these stock pedals that you have on the Kingsong S22. When we talk about the rim, I think that the rim on the S22 is one of the best rims that you have on the market. Here, I never had an issue but we are aware that all the rims on the market, they are a bit weak. For a reason, Emotion came out now with the V12 high torque with a different rim, the orange one, that should be reinforced and should be more durable if you are going to do some jumps. When we talk about the backlight, I have to say to you guys that is one of the best that you have on the market on the Emotion V12. This one, it's okay. I like that when you are curving, it shows you that you are curving to the right or to the left, but it should be stronger. So definitely something they have to improve. And when we talk about 
The stand is not even comparable. I prefer much more the stand here than you'll find on the Emotion V11. When we talk about the surface to put the pads here, it's like a draw. <laughs> I think it's the only thing that you can say that is a draw. It's always been a problem of the Emotion V11 to set the pads where you want. If you want them a little bit lower, you don't have any surface to put them. So definitely something that I didn't like it so much about this wheel. When you go here, it's the same problem because they have so much weight on the back and I explained that on the full review that they have to shrink down and don't have surface enough for that you need to put those pieces of plastics that doesn't make any sense for me for me they work fine on the King Song S22 but if you have larger legs maybe they will not work or if you like to have them a little bit wider than me you'll not like it on the King Song S22 and also in here you are a bit limited. When we talk about pedal heights, as you can see, the pedals of the Emotion, they are higher than the pedals on the S22. Obviously, you can change that on the King Song S22, but for that, and I have already explained on the full review, the wheel is not super nimble. You don't feel that you are really in control of this wheel. And yeah, you have that issue. To have a good experience here, you need to sacrifice that ground clearance that happens with this configuration that I'm using on the King Song S22. When we talk about accelerating with these two wheels, it's not even comparable. Here, I have plenty of power and since I've changed everything on this wheel, putting it lower, changing the pedals, the right one to the left and the left to the right, putting these power pads and removing those garbage power pads that comes with the wheel, definitely it increased all the experience that I had with the S22 and obviously is not even comparable in here. Here, if you want something that is very comfortable, very chill, this is the wheel for you, okay? Uh, I normally say that my Emotion V11 is my Cadillac wheel, so I'm not searching for speeds because obviously here you just have 55 kilometers per hour in the first 20% of your battery. After that, you drop for 50 kilometers per hour. In here, obviously, you are going to have 70 kilometers per hour. But this will have a big, big no-no. I have already covered that on the full review. And if you want to go a little bit more in depth, definitely check that one. But is the braking experience. Here, the braking experience, and I explained on that video why, and that is the main reason why I don't recommend you to purchase this wheel at this point that I'm recording. When I go downhill, I feel much more comfortable and secure on the Emotion V11 than on the King Song S22. It's not even comparable. I'm there, I'm, I'm just putting myself completely straight and I'm struggling to slow down with the S22. And it's not breaking hard and it's not like a steep heel. It's like a normal thing that you'll do constantly if you have some heels on where, where you live. And in here, no problem at all. When we talk about the suspension, it's not even comparable. Here you have 80 millimeters, here you have 138 millimeters. So this one definitely is made to hit every pothole that you see on the, on the streets. Here is just to give you some comfort and give you that sensation that the floor is a little bit more flat than it is in reality. So don't expect big jumps with the Emotion V11 and also I have already explained why this is not a wheel to hit and to jump. I've done that in multiple videos so definitely check also all the videos that I've done about this one. This wheel can manage all those holes. If it's like a more flat surface you'll never have an issue with the King Song S22. When we talk about the suspension it's so easy just to rotate this and change the settings and obviously you have the other valve on the bottom that also it's very easy to adjust once again so no need of pumps to just change the settings of this suspension something that i really like lifting both wheels i have to say that this is much much better and also if we talk about the handle is much much better on the emotion v11 if you want to purchase the seat you have a perfect seat and is not even comparable so it's very very comfortable and uh, you can easily ride it sitting on this seat and if you want to use your handle you just have to lift it up if you want to take it from the floor you have a kill switch to lift it up and it works really really well and it's very easy and ergonomic to your hand in here if you want to lift it up on this one you need to use your kill switch handle and this one on the front the problem is when you are lifting you are going to have your hand between your wheel and the handle. So it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable and painful. So definitely something that I don't like at all on this one. The kill switch works quite fine. It's very easy just to open and close without a problem. And straight away, 
you lose the balance. And also, just showing you, when we talk about this handle, it's horrible. It's like a, a big old handle that goes in. It doesn't have really a place to stay. And you are walking with it and you, you push it in many times and it's a bit annoying. So if you want to walk with this trolley handle, you can't walk like this because it's super hard to maneuver. So you always have to put the heaviest part of your wheel, that is where is the suspension on the front, and you can ride it. But when you are just walking, this sometimes close it, like you can see, and you have to pull it back up. So definitely not the best design, but it's quite sturdy, as you can see. So not the best, but not the worst, but also not really convinced with it. This wheel comes also with a seat I never really tried for what E-Rides told me. And by the way, thank you so much E-Rides to give me the possibility to try this wheel. And if you want to purchase any wheels, you have them below with 5% of discount. But with the seat, it seems that it's even more uncomfortable between your legs and it hurts you a little bit more, something that we have already covered before. When we talk about build construction, I have to give that to the Emotion V11. With a con, like I said, there is parts of it that are much more fragile. The front light, the back light, the way that they put together, if you are constantly hitting with this on the floor, they are going to break everywhere. So if you have after to change a tire, you also have to change the lights. In here, you don't have that problem because you have this handle that supposedly is going to break it before everything else breaks. So it should be cheaper for you to change it, but I would like to see better quality and maybe a material that will last even if you hit the floor. So should you purchase the Kingsong S22 or the Emotion V11? And I have to say that before you even think about that, you need to decide also how much money you want to spend. And I feel that this wheel can be one of the best wheels on the market. I think that there is a lot of stuff that don't work well. And one of them is the suspension. So this suspension, it's the best, but it's the worst. Because like I said previously, this one, the suspension is inside a structure, okay? So there is no dust or water going inside. The same that happens with the bigot here. Here is completely exposed. So as you can see, guys, this is the part where the suspension goes up and down, but it gets full of mud. And obviously after a while, you are going to start having issues. It's not going to slide as well as before. So the dust and everything will go inside the rod where you are just having your wheel going up and down. So I don't like that type of design and I think they should change that to make it better. Another thing that is important to say is if you like to do some off-road, this is your companion because we had that bad experience with the V11 having like a stick going in. So this was the bit that went inside and this guy managed. Yes. <laughs> and this guy here. Is the assistant? Yes. <laughs> assistant it's operations out. manager. Let's ride. Let's ride again. <laughs> Woo! Here you have a massive clearance to just reach your tire. If something goes inside, it's easier for you to just try to pull it out. That's definitely an advantage in here because you have much easier access to to the tire. So it's easier for us to try to take something that goes in from the front and also from the back. To disassemble, I believe that the S22 will be easier than the uh, V11. The V11, if you have a problem with the tire or whatever, it's better that you call a taxi or you walk with it because it's really, really complicated to reach there. Here are also some bits, they are a bit complicated to just put your tools and disassemble. Imagine even here, the arm is really hard for you to reach here because you don't have clearance to put your tools and to to take them off, so have that in mind. But I think that King Song have to improve, for example, all the mechanism where the suspension goes, or even the build construction. Also, even this handle should have some space to put some fingers there. So they should think about it and make it better in the next generation. When we talk about prices, it's not comparable. So here, I think they are around 1,800, and this one, 2,700. So also, if you are searching for the best price, obviously, the Emotion V11 will be the best option for you. And looking to the price, and if you go in a group ride, you want to ride with your friends, I was able to do exactly the same, or my friend was able to do exactly the same that I was doing with this one, with the disadvantage of that piece of wood going in. But we ride for like 46 kilometers, if I'm not wrong. He had a lot of fun like I had here. Also, when we talk about the suspension, this one is very easy to adjust and change the settings between one rider and the other. Here, you need to use your pump and 
pull it up and you need a specific pump for that here just rotate and put whatever you want but yeah i think that the king song s22 have a massive potential to be an amazing wheel maybe we are going to see the s26 <laughs> <laughs> soon because i really think that they have a lot of things to do with this one to make it a good wheel it's a good start but for me it's nothing more than a prototype if you have any questions about the emotion v11 s22 bigot hero z10 whatever feel free to leave in the comments below my name is marco this is matt peck if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one